Hey y'all, I just wanted to go over, I got a couple new books, um, I just wanted to talk about them because they all kind of uh, were linked together uh, in ways. So first of all, I've got a package here. I've heard that people like watching you open the package, so I've waited to open it. Negative Space by B.R. Yeager. This is a book that when I was looking at books on Goodreads that I like, I kept seeing this in the corner under books that you should also read. Oh, look at that. There's a quote on the back from Blake Butler, who's uh, a person I've recently discovered and, and found that I like. This is a uh, print-on-demand self-published probably I don't know I got it from Amazon which is the only place you can get it um, and it's from last year 2020 the plot synopsis on Goodreads was that a uh, group of friends in a small town experiment with a hallucinogenic drug to try and cope with a suicide epidemic that has broken out it's sounds that i mean that is intriguing to me stuff i'm interested in themes i'm interested in you know hallucinogens and suicide because i am a i'm a dark boy so yeah um and then i was talking about this book with my friend saul who just came over briefly and we talked about books and he brought me a couple of books to read um so i'm gonna go over those as well um, so all of these books, I think of in my brain as being connected because they're all things that I think of as like Saul books. Uh, m m me and my friend Saul are both really interested in transgressive and extreme works of art. So, you know, be that extreme transgressive books, uh, films, like we're both, you know, into stuff like a Serbian film and, and, uh other extreme movies stuff that's uh put out by the fantastic people at unearthed films yeah they're all kind of linked in that way that they're they're sort of experimental and uh transgressive first i think this is probably not as a uh, as fucked up but uh gun with occasional music the first novel by jonathan lethem i've never read a jonathan lethem novel i've owned them in the past and gotten rid of them unhauled them and uh he just is a person who constantly has been on my radar, but is, I've never pulled the trigger and actually read anything by him. But Saul said this is one of his favorite books, so I will definitely re be reading it. Uh, it's a sci-fi noir mystery where um, a detective is frozen and then wakes up in the future. And uh, in the future, there's like genetically modified animals that can talk. As you can see on the cover here, there's like a kangaroo in a suit. Yeah, it's it's. I think at its core, it's it's a hard-boiled mystery, but uh, with the backdrop of of uh, speculative fiction and and talking animals. So that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm excited to read that. Then we've got Cows by Matthew Stoke Stokey Stokey. I think is how you say it. This is a book that's like, um, if you look up lists of like grossest or most disturbing books, uh, this is one that comes up often. Juan at Plagued by Visions uh, did a video recently that was the most disgusting books of all time, and this was an honorable mention if I remember right. Saul was telling me that it's got like really disgusting depictions of the human body uh and and it's got like incest and and talking cows and uh yeah this one i'll be reading soon i uh it's been uh, it's been floating around in, in my radar for so long i need to get to it and finally the one that'll probably get me in trouble uh i hesitated to even talk about it yes this book is called baby fucker this is a book of experimental fiction. It was written in the early 90s uh, in German and uh, wasn't translated into English until 2010. Um, from the introduction, 
Urs Allemann's Baby Fucker took second place in the 1991 Ingeborg Bachmann competition and quickly became the center of one of the biggest literary controversies of the post-war era in German-speaking Europe. Der Spiegel magazine included the Allemann affair as one of only three cultural events in its list of the top 45 scandals between 1949 and 1999. Austrian politicians, including Jörg Haider, demanded that the prize be rescinded because of the text subject matter. So, um... It's a Beckett-influenced, I mean, it's barely even a novella. It's, it's, like, um, it's like 50 pages long. About a guy who may or may not be in a room with baskets full of babies, and he focuses obsessively on the sentence, I fuck babies. I've been assured through both Saul and through Goodreads reviews that this is not simply being fucked up for the sake of being fucked up. That there is some purpose to the transgressive nature of this book. Um, though certainly, I mean, calling your book baby fucker is, uh, is bold and is bound to provoke people in a way that is very childish i think it's attention grabbing but uh you know at what cost so yeah i'll get back to you on whether this is actually uh you know a worthwhile piece of literature or if it's just gross yeah so that's it four books quick video um i will be going book shopping with some friends of mine on friday so you can expect a vlog of that to come probably on Saturday. Yeah. Thanks for watching.